Yo, yo, yo. All right. Yep. We should be good. Go. We on go. We on go. Episode 30. Damn. Episode 30. That's crazy. Let's go. Let's get it. Jeremiah, Timbo in the building. What up? What up? What up? We in the building, man. Friday. Friday. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Yes, sir. Man, there's a lot. There's a lot to talk about. I I just about to talk to Tim about a, a subject, man. I'm gonna talk about Sneeko real quick, cause this is why you don't have like 23 year olds trying to talk about being a man on the internet. Like you, <laughs> this is why. This is why I go so hard on like the young kids, cause they have no idea what it's like to be a man on the internet. That's a fact. Um, so apparently, uh, this is brother on YouTube named Moist Critical. Moist, and moist, critical. Oh, um, man. He has a couple. He has a couple channels. He's actually a really good dude. Um, and uh, I, I like some of his content. Some of his content is kind of funny. And he has like a, a like a, a melatonin, melatonin, mel- y'all know what I mean. Um, he just kind of talks in like a, a a same vibration. He doesn't really change his speech pattern or anything. Mm. And um, uh, they were going back and forth. Everybody's talking shit about Sneeko being a cuck. So if you haven't seen the episode, I don't know if you've seen that episode um, where he was with Agent and uh, Lo. Is that the one where he said his, his girl got tossed up? Yeah, his girl got tossed up. Yeah, and, I, and all I, that. I didn't so, see it, but I'll always remember it. <laughs> 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 bro, I got to send you that. I got to send you Bro, it's crazy. Um, he talks about his girl getting tossed up and how the guy was like laying next to him and shit, oh. beating, the, beating the draws off his girl. Oh. He even talks about like how his girl, bro, he talked about, like, how his girl was, like, moaning. Like, I she was moaning. So <laughs> <laughs> Just a villain arc. Yes, definitely that's a, a villain that's arc. That's a villain arc. Definitely a villain That's arc. a villain arc, bro. Um, so, yeah, he talked. And, you know, that's the thing, bro, before we even finish. Bro, what you put on the internet, bro, like, what you put on, you can't get mad at people because you put out stories on the internet. And people take those stories and run with them, bro. Yeah. So everything that I put out, I'm, I'm totally fine with. I'm totally okay with. They're funny stories. Anybody can bring those stories up. And I'm a la- probably going to laugh at myself because, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah it might have been embarrassing, but I have I have moved past it. That's a, that's a part of being grown, too. It's like moving past certain stories that you share with people. You know, Isn't that kind of the story that put him on too, in a way, or was he already? Kind uh, I mean, of he on? was kind of already on. Right, he right. was he was like 13 years old, I think, when he started. He did like Call of Duty. Oh, he's been on and for a minute. Oh, he's been on for a minute. Oh, and then okay. he was doing like, and then he switched to kind of like this thought provoking content on YouTube. So he used to do like street content, mm. and like he used to interview homeless people, regular people on the street, and talk about thought provoking things. Got it. So you know, and that's kind of like, oh my god, that's kind of like the funniest part about this too. It's like you turn from like this thought provoking, um, conscious in young kid mm-hmm. to this red pilled matrixed out yeah. motherfucker dog. Like it's kind of crazy how he how he did a three sixty on this content. <laughs> um, so it's it's just kind of crazy. Like this Neanderthal that's on the internet now. I'm just literally still thinking about that story. In my yeah, head, bro, it's, bro, it's it's a crazy story. Um, but back to Moist Critical, um, he, you know, everybody's joking around with it. So, you know, he hit Moist Critical about his girlfriend. Now, nothing's wrong with Moist Critical's girlfriend. She's a regular ass, like, woman. Like, mm. it's, she's not like, I mean, she's not like a nine or a ten, but she's not like ugly either. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? She's, she's just a cute average, girl. Yeah, she's just an average young lo- lo- um, little lady. And, um, you know, Moist Critical and them had, go- had a back and forth. And, of course, he brought the cuck thing again. And then Abba and Preach brought up the cook thing again. So, of course, Sneeko is now in a rage. You get what I'm saying? Um, and uh, he goes on his stream, and he shows some guns on his stream. Like, he's showing guns, talking about some, here's here's my clips, here's my clips. Hey, I'm probably going to come down there and see you, or whatever the case may be. Lame as hell. <laughs> like, you, <laughs> you a lame dude. I'm going to call you a lame, bro. There's nothing manly about that, bro. If you can't take a couple shots at from people, bro, like you lame as hell to me, you know? <laughs> mm. um, so, of course, Moist Critical reacts to that, too. Yeah. And Moist Critical, I don't know if that was an AR-15 he had in that um, video or not, but, hey, man, you got some clips. That brother <laughs> yeah. got magazines. Yeah, I'm yeah. letting you know right now. Them, gu- <laughs> them little guns you showing in, that, that little 22 you showing in that video. <laughs> Got the heat on him? Hey, bro, Moist Critical got that fire. 
<laughs> Moist Critical showed us three different weapons. Really? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, hey that's gonna be. That's not gonna be a gunfight. That's no. it's, it's gonna be straight murder, massacre. <laughs> yeah, man. So stop doing that, bro. And and here's the thing. I always tell people um, early on when I made my Behind the Man reacts. When I made that, like, there's there's YouTube space, and then there's real life. Mm-hmm. Some people do not play like that yeah. on the internet, bro. Like we can we can joan on each other all yeah, day and yeah, make yeah. videos critiquing each other all day. Yeah. But when y'all start getting into these fights and trying to fight people and trying to hey bruh weaponry you yeah weaponry yeah oh you you okay you gonna find out you gonna fuck around and find out and i think i think uh moist i think he lives in uh florida so yeah you just made a video threatening him and he and he's like i'm gonna come down to visit you Mm -hmm. when he puts you six feet under that's your fault Mm -hmm. okay because they got to stand your ground rule so you know Mm -hmm. hey you you keep playing keep playing Mm. Keep playing. <laughs> well, so the boy had ARs and also a hey, bro, AKs nigga. and choppers and all kinds. Hey of man, shit. he I ain't seen no chopper. He just pulled out that. <laughs> he just pulled out that big ass goddamn hand cannon that he had. <laughs> he pulled out two hand cannons and a fucking AR-15. So that's all you need. Hey man, <laughs> hey he let he just let. I'm pretty sure like if you walking around with an AR-15 too, like I'm pretty sure. That and it looked tactical too. Like it looked like decked out, like Call of Duty decked mm, out. Yeah. Like this nigga put perks on that guy. He got the perks on the shit. <laughs> yeah. He got so lasers. He got yeah, he he don't put attachments extra on the mags shit. and yeah. all that. Exactly, big dog. <laughs> he he dropping thirty grips and Yeah, you he ain't gonna miss. Yeah, <laughs> he's not missing, dog. He not missing, bro. He not That's missing. Funny. And I'm telling you, you can't respawn in this game. So no, ain't no respawn. Hey man, in you this you game, keep boy. playing if you want to. You keep playing <laughs> with that nigga if you want to, man. Hey, you know, I I just I'm just from I'm from the real life world, bro. I don't yeah. really I, I upload to YouTube. I love doing this content. I love podcasts. Love talking to people. Love you know doing all that. But hey, man, listen, you keep playing. Niggas are gonna come see you, bro. Yeah, Niggas man. gonna come see you. So. We got to also get to the point where we, we get these alpha male red pill niggas up, up out of here, bro. Like that, that content is so lame at this point. It's yeah. just really fucking lame. When, Pretty much. Yeah. When they get into these situations, it just lets you know how lame they are in real life. Like that's just lame. It's funny how all the alpha males show their true colors and yeah. one factor. Yeah, another. Exactly, Even bro. The soon academics. Remember academics? Yeah, man. Him, him. <laughs> I'm the pride. I'm the pride. <laughs> Hey, bro, you wild as fuck, bro, for that, bro. You yeah. wild, bro. You a wild nigga, bro. That's not how alphas carry themselves, bro. Big dog. But you know what, bro? Like, and you know me. Like, I don't even believe in that shit because, like, I just think we're all men, bro. We're all men. Yeah. Like, we're all. I'm. I'm tired of like us like always trying to categorize shit just because we want to be in a certain category. We want to be seen. It's really self. It's really like self and social validation to me. It is. You know what I mean? Because me, I, when I see you, like, yeah. I just see a man. When I see my father, I just see a man. When I see other men out like we're not all the same like we're no. not all the same like some of us are more dominant than others some of us just don't give a fuck like we just don't give a fuck we go through our life not giving a fuck and so. there's always a bigger dog, bigger dog. yeah of we, course. we think we the big dog yeah of course then we see Shaq you know what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying and it's like damn or, and then Shaq even, sees Yao Ming and exactly. it's like God, you know there's always somebody bigger and even bro. if you, even if you want to talk about like money like this niggas out there making hundred thousand they yeah. living their life purposely well then there's niggas out there like Bill Gates with billions of dollars. Like, does that make him more of a man because he got billions of dollars? No. Fuck no. He could still be a bitch. Literally. You know what I mean? He, you know, you talked about DJ Academics. He got a whole bunch of money and shit like that, but we still categorize that man as a bitch. I don't <laughs> think he's the most manliest man on earth, bro, because he has some women tendencies, like, sometimes. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just certain shit like that, you know? Yeah. Um, and and th- that is what it... That's really what I want to take away from this, like... You know what I mean? Uh, stop listening to your twenty-three year olds. As far as like this, like these niggas don't know what they want. And I do think that that story, that Cook story, really tore him up. I think that was a very important part of his life because, he, first of all, he initiated it. Like nigga, you That's the asked thing, your yeah. girl to do this, That's and wild. she agreed. Ah. Uh. You asked your girl to do this. That's the worst. And you was okay with it when you were fucking all these women, but then, let's you ask, know, she Let's went. ask Nip how you feels about that. <laughs> how, how, you, how you feel about that, Nip? How you feel about that nigga girl getting fucked in front of him? AG. That 
that shit trash, dude. <laughs> exactly, man. Dog. That shit trash as fuck. That shit trash as fuck. Trash that shit as fuck. Trash as fuck. You know what I mean? That's such a but sad story. That it is, man, man. Don't do no, bro. We keep telling y'all niggas, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, some of y'all men are going down bad because it's like, fuck. Yeah, bro. You know, you. I get like exploring and shit, man. But you know, uh, but then you know the funniest part about that story is he then goes on to say that everybody. I think everybody should do this. No. Yes, he did. Never. No, I'm saying <laughs> no, <laughs> Nair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. And he's like, no, I'm no, like, I no. mean, never. That <laughs> never happening. Never. <laughs> I, I meant, no, that's not happening, nigga. I just jumped straight to the point. Uh, I feel you, Tim. <laughs> My bad, bro. <laughs> I'm like, no, nope. no. Nope. <laughs> that's a no. That's a negative, Captain. <laughs> Can't do it. Can't do it. Won't Y'all do can it. do it. Y'all go ahead. And, and maybe, that. And maybe there's some men out there that that do hey. do that. That's totally fine. I, that's fine. You know, there's men that go out there. We're not shaming. I mean, that's why they're cucks. That's yeah. the title for that them. World. Cucks. Yeah, cucks. So, or you know, whatever. Couple. Swingers. Whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? You know, well, it's you like didn't swingers. Really swing because yeah. you didn't fuck his girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You let another man fuck your yeah, girl that's... while you sat on the bed. <laughs> um, that's just wild as fuck. That's wild as fuck, Tim. That's wild. I hate it. <laughs> I hate every part of you it. You know, hey man, it is what it is, man. And that's crazy too. Like you just sitting there watching your girl <sighs> just getting torn apart. One thing and then she seeing starts it, moaning. But yeah, I was and hearing, like, it, yo, hearing it, bro. Yo, that's just probably, started moaning. Because really, you yo, hear your that heart forever. sinks in your ass, dog. Like, yo, she ain't you never were, moan like that. Man, he tearing her ass, especially if she started moaning like loud. You seeing faces. Oh, he man. said they were making eye contact. He was making love. I, yes, bro. He was making he love was, to your girl. Man. He was deep, bro. He had his oh. dick wrapped around her heart, man. Like that's just <laughs> crazy. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing, bro. Like it went from I'm gonna be real. It. it went from a brave moment to it. to like, damn, bro. Like people can really use this against you. Yeah, bro. because you talk so much shit about the red pill. Yeah, if he bro. would not have like done this type of content, people probably would have forgot. Yeah. Like, people either A, would have forgot, or B, would have, like, oh, well, he was honest. He's not really an asshole. So, like, you know, he's it's crazy, but, like, he's no, an that's honest true. Man. That's true, bro. He yeah. but he switched up and yeah. was like, well, well, this is alpha shit. Nigga, this is an alpha <laughs> shit. <Yeah. laughs> Let me show you the clip. Yeah. Roll the clip. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, man, that shit is crazy. Babe. No, that shit is crazy, bro. That's wild. He said he, he, said he walked out the man. His heart was in his, like, left nut. Like, that yeah. shit is crazy. Yeah. And I think that really would, like, put him on that path of, like, no, nah, fuck these hoes. Yeah, vengeance. But it was, it was vengeance. Your fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the worst. Yeah, when it's something you caused. Yeah, you caused this to yourself. Uh, oh man, you 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 try to find everybody to blame because you, you can't really do. you can't be mad at no one but, but yourself. yourself. You can't like even <clears throat> if he makes the content as much as he makes it, like you can't. And he said that was the love of his life. He loved that girl. Oh, yeah, God. man, it was heartbroken. It was heartbreaking. Bro. Not the love of his life. Yes, bro. that was a love. He said it was the love of his life. And that's another thing. It, depending on the love with you with the girl, you know, it's like you know, is this your like. Is this your girl, girl? Or is yeah. this just like your girl? But he's all, he was, let's. He was also like twenty two, twenty one at this time too. Yeah. So it's like, was it really the love of your life? If you want, the first thing you wanted to do was to take her to a sex club and let her get dogged out. I don't see that doesn't register with love with me. That, yeah, that's, that's not like, babe, like, I love you so much. Like, let's go to a sex store. And yeah, that doesn't, bro. It's like <laughs> you. And it, here's the thing: like, there's some men that that put themselves in these situations of like. Okay, when I do it, it's okay. When my girl does it, it's not okay. I'm mm -hmm. not okay with it. And that's why I tell dudes to, like, skip over that part, bro. Because, like, nigga, it has to be a compromise here. Because you know you're not going to like your girl doing this. You know you're not. You know you're not going to like your girl doing this. So you might want to stop yourself mm -hmm. before your girl do it. And there's plenty of times where I see dudes do shit. And it's like, man, they, they ready to go to their funeral because their girl done broke their heart. And it's like, nigga, you was out there doing that shit, too. Yeah. You, like, I don't understand why you sitting here crying and shit. <laughs> you was not crying when you was doing that Good other dirt. girl or, you know, running around doing what you wanted to do. Yeah, bro. You know, she just matched the energy at mm -hmm. that point, you know. So, yeah, man, like, hey, man, Sneeko, that's crazy, bro. But you... You gotta shut the fuck up. <laughs> you gotta shut the fuck up, cause that's too much, bro. Like they could hold on to that for years, and I still would just be like, "Oh man, that's yeah, bro. crazy, bro." They gonna say that at your eulogy. <laughs> Y'all remember when that nigga let his girl get fucking plowed, <laughs> that's destroyed, and she was moaning? 
Man, oh, that, that's man, probably the that's worst, the worst. Part, bro. If I'm not like attracted to like dudes or I'm not attracted to that situation and I hear my girl getting That's the worst, bro. Eyes roll back and just like moaning and shit out loud. Bruh. That just plays on so many things, yeah, bro. bro my heart's in my chest. <laughs> niggas it's like, you know, you don't want you don't it's like you don't want your girl to you don't want your girl to enjoy another man in front of you. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't really want that. No, man. No one really wants that, no, bro. Especially think... a girl you love, bro. You yeah, in you love with this girl, one... bro. I feel like the reason why some and he's people in there do that... tearing him. <laughs> and I feel like the reason why some people do that is usually it's older people who do it. So it's like yeah. they're like past a certain. They're past a certain. Exactly. Like, you know, it's like a sixty-year-old <laughs> man. Be for who, young who, people. Right, bro. It'd be like a sixty-year-old man, maybe like a forty-five-year-old woman who wants. She still yeah, wants like, some. Yeah. And he's like, mm, I can't really hit as hard, hard so as let's young. get you know a young yeah. gun in here to tear your ass up. Yeah, exactly. And that's and un- she not going nowhere. And I'm sixty-five. I'm about to she go in the grave. Going nowhere, but like, they got kids and yeah, bro. She not going nowhere. But twenty-year-olds, yeah. bro. Bro, 20, yeah, twenty-year-olds. That's gonna hurt who you. For don't life. even understand. And that's the thing too. Like, don't even understand sex. Me and Chrissy was just having a conversation about that. Like how. We as young people, like we look throughout our history. Some people are having sex at a young ass age now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah super young. young. And so they don't even grasp the concept of sex, how addictive sex can be, mm-hmm. shit, depressive sex, like yeah. all that shit. Like all the things that come with sex, bro. Yeah, it's a everything lot. That, it's a lot. It's yeah. a lot to process, a lot of feelings. Yeah. You know what I mean? He hitting it like he in love with you, like he gonna marry you for the rest of your life, but really he about to go fuck like two other women like after this. Mm. And then like you have some women who they man and men fall in love with that head or fall in love with that, you know, sex and body and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then that woman's crazy. She gonna write her name on your car <laughs> with the fact. fob key. So you know what I'm saying? Like we you know Craziest girls got the best pussy. They they do. They do. They 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 do. <sighs> <laughs> I get it though, we bro. We about to all be in I trouble. I get it. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it, man. But hey, man, shout out to Sneeko, man. Hey, it Sneak. Is what it, hey, it is what it is. Head up, Sneak. Hey, man, we got to talk about that Michael Irvin. We got to talk about that case. Have you seen that, man? Bro, what happened with Michael Irvin? I don't know me. if I just 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 refresh my memory. Man, so Michael Irving, um, he was fired from. I didn't even know he was fired from the NFL Network. I thought he just stepped away. I, I remember he was but fired. He was, he was fired from mm-hmm. the NFL Network. Via um, uh, sexual conduct, misconduct, excuse me, sexual misconduct, mm-hmm. um, a case in which he went to a Marriott hotel, and the woman, I think she said that he said some sexual stuff to her. Um, the video has, uh, at first, Marriott refused to show the video of what actually transpired in that lobby. Okay. It was in the lobby. I'm thinking it's in a room and show some shit like they like Damn, the alone, alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the video to me does not match what they tell this man did. Mm. So you can see in the video that he's coming in, he's talking to everybody, and the lady like comes around the corner. Of course, it's Michael Irving. Everybody knows who he is. Who he is. Dallas legend, wide receiver, Hall of Famer. Mm. Come around the corner. You're having a conversation with him. There's even a moment where, like, he creates so much space between her and him. He ain't grabbing no ass. He not doing nothing. I don't even Was there touching what, involved at all? Um, she He shook her hand. Like, he, like yeah, a yeah. professional hand. You can see it on the video. A normal the, handshake. Normal hand. Not no grab in. Not no hug, grab ass, and anything like that. Not no Trey Song shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just a normal. It looks like a normal thing. Yeah. Now, um, um. There's two people in the bar that have come forward from the bar as well that was sitting there doing that. And they seen they just happened to see the case being ran on television. And so they were like, that didn't happen. That's not what happened with that woman. So luckily, those guys called, you know, got in touch with Michael Irving's team or whatever, a lawyer. And they are witnesses also in this case as well. But basically, he is uh, he has a case out there for uh, sexual misconduct. But to me, that video um, is not conclusive. And, and, and Marriott or, didn't want to put it out. And Marriott did not want to Wonder put that why. video out. Um, Wonder and why. And so, yeah, man, you can even see, like, the manager was mad at her. Like, you can see him, like, clapping a little bit. He's angry at her because I guess, like, she's not doing her job. She's just sitting there talking to him or whatever. And, um, yeah, it was just it was just crazy. So mm-hmm. he's also suing the Marriott for $100 million, uh, which I, I pray he wins. Because yeah. that, that video, to me... And that's what I'm saying. Like, I think critically. I don't. I don't believe nobody at this point. I think at this point in life, 
you can't believe women, you can't believe men. You can only believe what is being presented in front of you. Come on, me too. You know, me too, me three. Come shit. on, me too. You know, there's about to be a male me too. That's what I'm saying. We like, need to make a, a, a male me too. <laughs> a male hell no, nah, some shit. Yeah, like, bro. I don't, it's going to hurt, it's, it's, it's really going to hurt a lot of women's cases that are um, touched in a, a, a manner and, and all this stuff. Like, it's going to hurt those cases because of women like this who just say, oh, well, it's Michael Irvin, so we go probably get a lick off of this. Get some money off Michael, yeah. for sure. And then get him fired from his job. So That's fucked that's up. That's fucked up, too. So They should give him his job. After all this is said and done, they should give Mike his job But back that's there, also, I am, gonna, I am going to say that most, these jobs, I get it. Like, you don't want to be associated with it yep. and stuff like that. I totally get it. Mm-hmm. But in the last couple of few cases, there has to be like a okay. Let's keep him to see what happens next. What what happens? Yeah, because don't if, automatically let him go. Yeah, don't automatically let him go. Because because like impact. imagine if that video was up before you know. I mean during like the case like that video came out during all this. You probably wouldn't have got fired. The yeah. NFL would have looked at that and said, "Get that shit out of here." Bro, come back to work, bro. Especially the NFL network, the like especially people who they should know of all people yeah. what, what kind of woman that is. Yeah, they all deal with that kind of woman on the scale, bro. Gonna, yeah. Managers to players, mm-hmm. to, they all deal with those kind of women. So yeah. they would look at the fi- footage and be like, "No, nah, well, let's bro. wait for the footage to come yeah. out because, like, you know, it's one thing like to to say, oh, well, he did he do that, or is there enough evidence to prove that he did that, yeah. or is she gonna win off of a technicality? Is she gonna uh, win this case just off of?" Oh, it's a man and it's a woman and it's Michael Irv and he has the money to pay her, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Or did he actually do that? And this video shows that he did not do anything wrong yeah. in that video. Yeah. And, you know, and, it, and it's heartbreaking because, like, I, I, you know, you see the video of Michael Irvin just, like, crying and stuff in there. And, 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 it's, and it's heartbreaking because it's like, bro. He like you know for a fact you didn't do that wrong. You walked into work one day and they were like, "Hey, yo, someone called in and said you did this." And he's like, "I talked to so many people, I don't remember that shit." <laughs> like, he probably doesn't even remember the shit. And he said that he said like during he was like, "I didn't even remember her until like she got in front of me and we we're in the case." And clearly, I remember now. Like you know. And the thing is, Michael Irvin back in the now Michael, Michael Irvin back in the day, bro. Yeah. That nigga was in some shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Probably, I believe it. But this is an OG Michael Irvin. This is yeah, a, he, he's a, a probably grown, grown man, and, bro. and it's not to like I said, like it's not to 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 give him grace on what he did in his past. But if you ain't doing it right now, if I'm looking on video and all that stuff and it's not happening, yeah. I'm not. But like his shit wasn't even sexual related. It was like drug related. Mike was yeah. Mike loved that coke. Hey man, <laughs> like Mike Mike mm-hmm. loved the coke, bro. He loved the coke. He did, bro. He was <laughs> look, hey, look it up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's Michael's messing around back in the day, but yeah, like man. when it comes to the women shit, like he was never no well, we sexual, never, assault no sexual assault cases. Okay. This is wild, bro. Hey man, that's wild. Yeah, dog, that's crazy, man. I'm I'm praying for him. Um, I I have no idea what's what's going on with that, but yeah, man, shit. Mm. Like man, but um, hey man, let's talk about the Oscars. Let's talk Oscars, about the Oscars. Oscars. The Oscars was this past weekend. Didn't um, watch it. He didn't watch that shit either. Um, but uh, there was a lot of a lot of noise around Angela Bassett. I saw that clip. You saw that clip. Yeah, I saw. that nigga looked like J Cole when he. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Auntie. Hey, hey, Auntie. What's up, Auntie? They said they knew. They said uh, Michael Michael B Jordan and uh, um, Majors. Jonathan Majors. They said you're not gonna win tonight. No. So we are gonna tell you we love you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what it looked like for sure. Hey man, it, hey, they man. be hoeing so, Angela though. So bro. if if people don't know, man, the, the Oscars were last weekend, um, and uh, she was up for best supporting actor, mm. actress, or actor, mm-hmm. um, actress. and she got snubbed for I forgot the name of the woman. I ain't gonna lie. Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. There we go. Um, Freaky Friday, mama. Freaky Friday, Mama. Yes, that's yeah, how we know her. Yeah, yeah, that's how yeah. We know okay, her. okay, okay. I, I was Halloween. looking at her. I ain't gonna lie. I was looking at. Uh, yes, that's Halloween. that's where I, that's where I know her from. Mm, Halloween. Freaky Friday. I seen the movie, but I don't like remember the movie yeah. enough. Yeah. It was a very iconic movie, but I don't. But definitely Halloween. Halloween. Um. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um. So yep, she got snubbed. Um. People are saying that I've not seen the movie. So I'm not gonna sit here and judge the movie. 
Um, but they're saying she wasn't even the best supporting <clears throat> actress in that movie. Ugh. So that's crazy. Um, but uh, we they also talked about how you could get snubbed for a movie. Let's say that. Let's say you can get well, a couple of things, but you can get snubbed for a movie, and this is her first one. She's been in the game for a long time. Who? Both of them. Both of them Both have. of them, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Both of them have been mm-hmm. in the game for a very long time. Mm-hmm. And uh, they said it was her time up, so we're going to give her – <laughs> we go give her the the Grammy and Angela got away. But there was also a concept where like super. Do you feel like superhero movies are too saturated to win an Oscar? That's that's that was one of the that that's one of the things they brought up. For, that's what I heard. Yeah, yeah. it's because like <clears throat> super movies are super movies, bro. They're based for like kids. They're not supposed to be a dramatic setting, but. It's still acting. Yeah, so it doesn't I don't, matter. I don't get it. Yeah, it kind of. It's doesn't. a movie. Yeah, it's a movie where the, whether it's Transformer in front of you or whether you know it's the whatever. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. They're all movies and they're all actors. So th- I don't. See, yeah, I don't see it neither. Because like, okay, because like, it's how do you say it's not real acting? And she has played that iconic role, which she kind of has to play like two different methods. She's like the the great mother in Black Panther one. She's like worried, but she's like the great mother in that one. And in Black Panther two, like. There's no child with Bozeman, and she's like a grieving mother that's also trying to help her child like move on as well, mm-hmm. but also trying to learn more about like Black Panther and, and its origin and its culture and yeah. things like that. And yeah. then she passes away in this movie too. Mm. So like you feel that Emotion. I got a chance to you know I, we got a chance to go and see it. So you felt that throughout the movie. Yeah. Again, I can't speak for um, Jamie Lee Curtis. So. But I know you felt that in the movie, and I feel like that was a great role. Mm-hmm. Um, so I didn't even see it as like, oh, this is a superhero movie or whatever. I just seen it as like, did she do a great job in that role? You know, and if she got snubbed because of, it was a superhero movie, that's wrong to me. That's like, wrong. Yeah. That's wrong. So yeah, you know what I mean? And I'm going to be real, too. And, like, yes, like, it is for kids and stuff like that, you know, secretly for adults because we the ones who grew up on the comics and stuff. Yeah. But <clears throat> a lot of times... I'm I'm just I'm just thinking about like, you know, when you're when you're in that space, you're not really thinking about it's a superhero movie. I'm not like I get it, it's a superhero movie. But I'm not thinking. About it. I feel like as the actor, you're not you're not thinking about that. You're like mm-hmm. I'm just here to do my job and do it to the best of my abilities. Yeah. And then like Angela Bass has been so many man, good roles, big man, dog. They, man, we forgot. Come I, on, hey, I ain't gonna hold you. I forgot what um, Tina looked like. Tina Turner looked like. I thought Tina Turner was Angela Bass. Man, she, she should have won role, one for bro. that one, man. Yeah. A lot of roles and a lot of Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry movies, and mm-hmm. but she's just been around for a minute. It's a like minute. It, I think what's it's love just, got to do with what's it? love got. I just think it comes a time where like yo, like pay them their due, bro. Yeah, pay you know? them their due. It's like one Oscar. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis has been around too a, a yeah. long time too. So you can't, can't just forget yeah, her. I can't forget her. Not, but it's just not, like we'll Angela has the. I feel like Angela's yeah. just a stronger. Character in mm-hmm. that movie, in that movie, then then Jamie, Jamie Lee Kirk. would be in whatever. But movie that's it, that that's was. that's what like that's what gets me kind of because it's like um, if you're not the best supporting, so you're not the best supporting actor in yeah. your movie. Well, why are you nominated? Right, you just nominated her just to nominate mm-hmm. her. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? No, Angela Bassett was actually one of the best roles in this. Black Panther movie, you can even argue in the Black Panther like series is developing right, right. now. So it's kind of like, damn, bro, like how are you? You know what I mean? Like how are you judging this? How, who's judging this? Like how are they judging it? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's just me. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Uh, so I, I don't get it. And I don't know. Like I don't know. I know that Angela's gonna stick. She, I mean, she's gonna stick with it. But yeah. at the same time, yeah. I don't know what next movie she's got coming up and like how mm-hmm. strong she's gonna be. So that kind of might have been her. I don't her, know. You don't know if that's her last too, chance, like, bro. That's you don't the thing know. too. Like, okay, let's see. Let's say it comes up at some point because at some point, you know, it got to come up that mm-hmm. like, okay, well, she's doing her last roundabouts in movies right. or whatever. She's gonna right. calm it down after a while. She might make a movie here there but right. she's about to start calming it down mm-hmm. we're gonna look at that next movie and we're gonna judge it off of the black uh, black panther and we're gonna say is that her strongest movie mm-hmm. and then we're gonna say oh well it wasn't her strong so they just gave her an award and i i feel like like you lose your flowers after like it's it's not as it's probably a moment for her but for us it's like nigga like like leonardo dicaprio won one for the revenant 
Yeah. That is not Leonardo DiCaprio's best movie, bro. <laughs> so it's like, I ain't even seen I the hold, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna I hold like, you. To, I'm about to say, I ain't gonna hold you. That shit was tight. It was? That you shit like was it? tight. You yeah, like that? That okay. shit was tight. Okay. That shit was tight, okay. bro. I ain't gonna hold nobody. That yeah, shit was that, tight. You, that shit, Revenant was so tight. So do you think bro. it was his best movie? His best one? Best one. Nah, but bro. Was I like hard, his role in Django, honestly. Yeah, yeah. That shit was. <laughs> <laughs> of course he does. Candyland? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah, man. Nah, nah. He's had way better films, bro. That's what I'm yeah, saying, though. You like, just never know. You just never know. And it's like, imagine being Angela Bassett giving you, she's like, oh, man, I went to work every day, mm -hmm. gave my best performance, gave my best A-plus work mm -hmm. to get snubbed. Yeah. That's tough, bro. Yeah. And imagine her working for so long. And then finally, well, like getting finally, to this point, yeah, to this point, I yeah. got a nomination again, again, again nominee, again yeah. nominee, yeah. again nominee, yeah. and you, never you winning. You rolling them out, you rolling them out like the carpet, nigga. Like you just rolling them out. Nominee should be an award in itself. Like if you're nominated, <laughs> yeah. hey man, yeah. you nominated. That's an well, award. You know, that's a, that's a beautiful thing about being nominated too. Um, you never know, man. Like you, you know. But I also think that, like, with nominations, bro, that's that's what keeps the roles coming in. Yeah, for like, sure. Oh yeah, like she's oh, not gonna stop working. Never. We always need a black woman in there. Yeah. A strong and black. We woman. always need auntie. We I always, always need auntie. auntie for sure. Yeah, man. So. For sure. We'll see. We'll, you know. Does um, she still look great? And she, yeah, she looks amazing. She's almost damn near what sixty years old. Yeah, she's up there. Yeah. Fire. Fire. So, yeah. hey, man. Hey. But shout out to auntie, man. We love you. We. We support you, man. Like I, I hate yeah, that so we love much. you, Angel. Yeah, for sure. I hate that so much. Um, I'm not even gonna say anything bad about Jamie Curtis because yeah, yeah, it's, exactly. it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's not even about her. It's not even about her. It's not about her. It's about the Oscars. Yeah. yeah, it's it's about the Oscars. <laughs> and I even think like Jamie Lee Curtis. Like I also don't want to like dim her light too because this was her first one too. Yeah. And I don't want her to seem like you know we just like yeah the fuck white women or something like. Well, it's not like it's not no, like that. It's no. just like when we see. That you might not have been the strongest character in your movie, yeah. but they gave you an award for that. Versus like her being top notch in her movie, and you still won. <laughs> you still lost. Like you yeah. know. Oh, she still lost. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. Angela Bass is still lost. So yeah. like, it's like, yeah, it's this is crazy. So, yeah, man. Mm. Um, I don't. I, I'm not. I don't know the brother's name, so I'm gonna put his picture up. Um, in the in the Oscars, he won an Oscars for any and everything. I think that's the any and every. Any yeah. and every that's mm. a long ass title, so I yeah. I'm gonna fuck that up. <laughs> um, you know, a, a man. Uh, he made a he made a really really compelling speech. Um, but uh, he also was like, I don't know. He was he was telling his agent because he was scared. I seen the story on like uh Instagram, so I don't know if it's true or not. Yeah. But he said he told his story. Uh, he told his agent he was scared because he was like, I don't know if I'll ever get any other jobs anymore. Like, he literally said that. Like, he was like, I don't know. He's like, I'm scared because I don't know what's, what tomorrow may bring. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I have no idea. Like, he could he could not get a job for, like, I don't know, a couple months or whatever the case may be. Yeah, in the acting world, it's, hey, man, you, you could, hey. Denzel was in a the movie, then was in the goddamn food stamp line the next day. Yeah, <laughs> that's the kind of shit you do with an yeah. actor. So I can feel him on that. You yeah, know. yeah, that's uh, yeah, that was some scary. That was some scary thing as well. Like I, I just wanted to bring that up, man. Like you know, it's crazy to like. It's great to win not like these awards and stuff like that, but them, they still gotta after that like ceremony. You still gotta go back the next day and put in work. Right. Put in. I think it's, I, it's, and just, it's just the <laughs> go way back you, to class and stuff, you know. It's just like the way you handle getting that award too, bro. Because mm -hmm. like, is that gonna push you to do better and be better? You mean like kind of lacks of days ago after that? It's mm -hmm. like, shit, I got the award. I got what I needed. Like yeah, I, most the actors, gonna, they're like, I want an Oscar. Yeah. Like that's my main goal. Like the NFL mm -hmm. players want the ring. They, uh, actors want Oscars. So it's like once yeah, you get that, it's like yeah, what is there? You know. Yeah, man. It's like, do you do you want to? I mean, of course, some you're gonna keep going. keep going. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're, you're but gonna, how strong are you gonna come? But yeah, how so, yeah, how much dedication are you gonna put into that? Right, that work. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and that's that's crazy as hell. That's crazy as shit. But shout out to everybody who won Oscars. Man. Shout yeah. out to everybody, man. We, yeah, we're not of, we're not speaking of the acting world. I seen Brandon Brown on an ad on another ad, bro. <laughs> on my, I'm like, this boy's on. It was, it was on, about it was about I think it was about a ring. I don't know if you've seen it. It was about like a ring. A ring. It's on YouTube. Just some sort of ring. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but like, I hey, seen that. hey, Brandon, 
Hey, he's also on like shout man. He's, he's also on some like NCAA uh, ad too. Is he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch out, Brandon, man. Yeah, man, taking up all the roles, brother. Shit, save some for the rest so, of us. Hey, man, he was on vacation and then he was doing a Zoom audition, like he prepping for a Zoom audition. Yeah, we gotta get you in the studio next month. Yeah, before you blow you. up too big, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we <laughs> before you, you didn't sell it. You, yeah, we gotta get you in the studio, dog. Cause gotta get one more. Yeah, we gotta get you. one more out you. We ain't gonna bother you after that. We promise. Yeah, we Unless you one. wanna come back. If you wanna come back, cool. We'll we'll, we'll fit you in next month. I'll talk to him next month. Yeah, we'll, but leave, yeah, we'll leave you alone. He, yeah, he uh, yeah, man, like uh, man, doing just good. to watch a career. Yeah, man, just watching somebody. And that's what I love. That's what I want to be a part of too, especially like in this space. Um, I want to be a part of that too. Like I just want to see everybody, most stepping stones to where they get to. I don't. I don't need the money. Need the accolades for them. I'm just proud of them for doing what they do. So mm-hmm. yeah, you know, I, I'm. I'm very grateful to be a part of this. Like to have you know Brandon Brown in our space and stuff. So. Yeah, man, that was a great. That was a great interview. That yeah. was cool. He did that. Yeah, yeah, it is cool, man. Stay away from Kanye and that slave shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, they're gonna have you a real slave if you don't if you don't chill out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, man, we go we go talk about some bands playing real quick, but it's gonna come with a topic. So, um, there's a artist named Finesse Two Times. Finesse Two Times. Finesse Two Times. Finesse it's cool if times. they do it. It's a problem, problem when I, I do it. it. Yeah. Fuck them. That's that guy, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Just want to make sure. Yeah. Um, so he goes on, uh, the Breakfast Club, and he talks about. Breaking up with Erica Banks, who is also a rapper. Erica Banks. Erica Banks. I, I forgot the song she made, but uh, I think it was like a, it went trendy on TikTok. I know something about it. WAP. Okay, I was just playing. I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Oh, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was like, I was like, that, that's definitely Cardi B. <laughs> but um, but cool. I was gonna let you have it. Uh, I feel like all the female rappers just talk about pussy. Yeah, know. exactly. So. Young Miami and all them. They all the, <laughs> but um, where's Megan? Uh, she did make an appearance uh, uh-huh. recently, and they also showed her for like her birthday. Her birthday was like last month, I think. Okay. Yeah, so she's I mean, alive. She's okay. She's, right. she's healing. It's good. Um, Erica but, Banks. But yeah, uh, he went on Breakfast Club, and you know they talked about the breakup, and he said he broke up with his girl because she was on. She every time he wakes up, you should wake up with me, and it's time to have sex and it's time to cook for your man. But she used to wake up and hop on Twitter in the morning. She then responded that it wasn't given. So that's kind of the gist of that. It wasn't given? Yeah. Wasn't given what? I'm guessing the, the dick wasn't given. Oh, yeah, usually, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I seen a it, clip. I seen a clip what? about her. She said mm-hmm. yeah, his shit wasn't big. Like, wasn't, she wasn't what she was. She said, uh, it wasn't what I was used to. That's what she told the other girl. Like, Ooh. She's like, it wasn't what I was used to. She's like, I'm used to. Dang. Ooh. I'm like, ooh, wee. Woo! <laughs> so if you look at the Erica Blaine clip, that was the clip I saw about Erica Blaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could, I was like, oh man. man. So yeah, it wasn't yeah. given, bro. It wasn't given. That's what she said. She said it wasn't given. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Twitter Finesse is more. Time. Twitter is giving more than finesse. Let me let me say this. Let me say this to the men, dog. There's certain things that's not real good talking points, and it kind of puts you in a bad spot. And this is one of them. <laughs> yeah. So number one, the one thing I tell dudes all the time, like. If your girl every day waking up on Twitter mm-hmm. and she not trying to, girls are horny. Mm-hmm. They shit. Sometimes they hornier than us. Mm-hmm. Um, and I ain't never had no girl just wake up and you know I'm sitting there feeling it and we cuddling and shit and you know you poking her backside and then like that yeah. man and she ain't trying to give it up. Yeah. So if she waking up, the cooking thing, I mean that is what it is. There's some women that do that. Some women. And here's don't, the thing, bro. But, like, look at the. I mean, uh, for most couples, we don't have time. Haley wakes up and goes to work. She yeah, ain't got time. To, it's yeah. Monday. Yeah. She ain't got time to cook me no breakfast. Yeah, and it's a on rapper. The, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a very busy woman. Exactly. But like on the weekend, like when you are in the bed, cut. Yeah, that should be y'all's time. To, so like, if your girl is waking up and directly going to Twitter or anything and not really engaging with you, that's a problem. Yeah, bro. That's you're a problem. Not, you're not. You're not knocking the walls. <laughs> <laughs> that's a problem. You're not knocking the walls. She should want you to kiss on it or something. And that too. That's what I was about to ask. She wants you to she kiss on it. I was like, man, what are you, what are you doing in that bedroom? Because like, whenever I hear men like say that, like, oh, I will, I like sex in the morning and stuff, or I want sex as much. It's like, what are you doing in the arousement factor? Like, that's what true. are you doing? Yeah, that's true. Like, are you, like, are you, you kissing on it? That's are you, true. Are you, are you, are you taking her on dates? Are mm-hmm. you? 
you know, doing other things that add to like the arousement. Like yeah. women, like women love to be reminded of why they like you. That's true. After a while, certain things just get stale. Like everybody, yep. of course, like you said, brothers, Monday through Friday, mm-hmm. you're at work. Schedules. You got schedules, man. Y'all, y'all not busy. And I would think that if you a rapper, if you you as big as you you know claim you are, you got shit to do too. Mm-hmm. So it's not always gonna be like you know bedroom sex all the time and stuff like that but if you hitting that motherfucker hey man hey we got five minutes Mm -hmm. so we we gonna get it in in five minutes (laughs) or do something in five minutes you know what i'm saying right so apparently you not you not moving like you think you moving in that bedroom so and and isn't he the same guy who thinks he's a polygamist right he's polygamist now damn i bet he is now so you disappoint multiple women women. (laughs) That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy how you can be a polygamist and not be thanging. <laughs> I feel like the only re- real polygamists out there, they got that thing on them, bro. Yeah, hey man. Thang of maybe. money, so maybe. Or money. Or I don't money. know what would make women be like, you know what? Let's just have other women around and <laughs> and we're all going to share one man. That's kind of. They probably share each other, too. You don't, you never know, you man. You just never they know. Did. Everybody's in there pleasing each other, so. Shit, I hope so. Like that'd be crazy. That's what you want to think. You gotta wait. Yeah, 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 that's what you want. You know what I'm saying? That's what you (laughs) want to think. That's a perfect world. A perfect world. Everyone's in there fucking orgy. Everyone's in there fucking every night. Yeah, exactly. I don't think that's what's happening, (laughs) big dog. I just don't think that's what's happening. Yeah, man, that's just crazy, man. Um, hey, man, hey, finesse. You shouldn't. Yeah, you shouldn't open your mouth about that one because. Every time I, I I like to listen to conversations. So like when when I hear certain things about dudes like okay opening up yeah women need to learn how to help men open up. When y'all be talking about like oh well she's not doing certain things for me mm-hmm. and I'm just like sometimes I'm just like hey bro you not doing what you yeah that's you the, not doing what you supposed to, some things it's like yeah bro you're not you're not doing what you're supposed to do. That's bro. the thing, bro. That's the thing. <laughs> if she's not doing what you think she's supposed to do, that yeah. means you're not doing what you're supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, bro. That's a fact. Yeah, that's something. Yeah. If that's you're like she's off, not dude. doing something for me, yeah. it's because you are not doing what you're There's, supposed to do. Yeah, bro. Ninety percent I mean I'm willing to go on record saying that ninety percent of women, bro, if you tearing that shit the fuck up, bro, it don't even matter if y'all in a relationship or not. Like if you in there handling business, bro, she can't let that dick go. I done met so many women that so they get dickmatized. Hmm. So you know what I mean. Like just that alone should have been <laughs> you. I mean, I I actually side with her on this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I I do because like I do, and it's not even that like oh it's smaller and it's not what you used to. It's just I don't think that like even the sex was good. So like yeah. sometimes, bro, women go away from the sex. It's like. Well, she won't have sex with me because y'all talk about sex in the form of like a chore. It's right, not right, fun. Right, it's right. not fun to do. Y'all not in there flipping each other over. Most people do like three positions, nut, and then go to sleep. Y'all not in there having fun. It's no arousement. Um, some people bring toys into the room. Some people bring all these different things into the room. Mm. And so it's so it's a fun time, bro. Y'all exploring, exploring each other yeah. and shit like that, bro. If you yeah. mad because every time she wake up, you roll over, you getting up. Or she still sleep, or you getting up and she on Twitter, bro. You not hitting it, you not, <laughs> you not, bro. I done had women wake up, wake up, look over. Man, I need some more. You know what I'm saying? Like I've had women do that. So like I don't get it. That, that was kind of a you should have left that on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you should have left that in the drafts, nigga. Oh, you just you should just man, it's a beautiful young lady, man. Just ended. It wasn't that great, you know, whatever. But hey, man, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. So. Two times, get it right. Sorry. That's kind of that's kind of the the go to thing for women that get. You know what that I'm saying? Is true. That's kind of the go to thing. It also. is true. That it's is like, true. Well, too. shit was small. Or, well, yeah. you was with them for four or yeah. five years. What yeah. the fuck was you doing? And then, so, so to me, I don't think women. I think women say that to because they know that gets under men. Exactly. Men, absolutely. Exactly. I do agree with that. I do. They know if they want to hurt you, we yeah, gonna talk about hurt, your shit. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> exactly. But you also need to know what you're doing with that thing. Like you need to, if you know if you doing, if you know what you're doing with that thing, bro. They they not going nowhere, bro. It's not gonna be no sitting on Twitter all day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I said, women get horny too, and they probably more horn dogs than we are. So even if that thing little, Let's you need to period. know what you knew. Run that period or, or time, run that boy. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Wee. Yeah, it's like a lion. Yeah. And you're a gazelle. And I be smelling blood like a shark. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. <laughs> you be smelling blood like a shark. That's Turning crazy. to Bruce, nigga. That's crazy. <laughs> Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah, man. We just we just gotta do better on the on the pleasing department. We gotta do a little bit better Eat on the Eat that pussy. Department. 
Yeah, bro. Go down there and eat that pussy for an she hour. And then we'll see how we'll see how everything buy, goes. Buy, put a dildo on it. Put a vibrator on it while, while you're in there. Something. You just mix it up. A little mix bit. That, mix that bitch up. Yeah, man. Do something. If you if you not if you are lacking, I don't know if you're lacking, but if you're lacking, bro, like you know, put some put some on it. Got to make up for it. Got to make up in some way. Do do it somewhere, man. But yeah, man, that's that's just my main man explaining spot, man. I don't really have anything else. You got anything else? <sighs> nah, bro. I think this week was kind of meh. Meh. It's kind of meh. It was a meh week. Wasn't that? It was. Ooh. It was a meh week. Hey, man, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Peace. Peace. That's it.